Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy SR7 and welcome back to another video on my channel. So in today's video, I've got another hero card review for you guys. And in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the hero, Freddy Jungberg. He is a card that a lot of people wanted me to review, a lot of people want to see him, and he is a card that I really wanted to try as well. And as you can see, I do have a Premier League team, so he fits in pretty perfectly. So anyway, I'm going to tell you guys what I think of him, if he's worth it, his strengths and weaknesses, and you know, whatever else I think of this card. Anyway, enough of the formalities, let's just get straight into the review. Okay, so looking deeper into this card, as you can see, he is 5'9", medium, medium. He's right-footed with a 4-star skills and 4-star weak foot. We picked him up for a pretty decent price of 175k, so you know, we shouldn't actually lose any coins uh, when we do sell him. Looking at his actual card, he's got 87 pace, 81 shooting, 82 passing, 86 dribbling, and 77 physical. You can see he's got 86 stamina, so that shouldn't be a problem with this card. Um, his agility and balance is slightly on the lower side, but you know it could still be decent because he's not the biggest of players. Uh, with his shooting, his shooting is pretty good. His shot power is slightly weak on 79, so that could be a slight problem, as well as his volleys in 70. But other than that, he looks like a phenomenal card, and I, I can't wait to try him. So let's just get straight into the gameplay. Okay, so starting off with the first clip here, we get a quick free kick, we get it with Freddy Jungberg, he hits the ball against the defender, he gets it back from Werner, hits a first time shot across the keeper into the top corner, a phenomenal finish. Here again, we threw on goal with Jungberg, he takes it into his left side, he hammers a shot across the keeper, unfortunately he does save it this time, but we come right back down here with Foden, we send in a finesse shot, Jungberg gets to the rebound, and unfortunately the ref for some reason blows his whistle. Um, for half time and we don't actually get the goal. Anyway, moving on to the second half, we get the ball with Mahrez, playing through to Jungberg, he has some phenomenal pace to get away from the, the defender and he hammers it across the keeper, once again on his weak foot and into the back of the net. Okay, we get the ball here again with Jungberg, we take it inside, he hits a nice little floating finesse shot, keeper gets up and saves it, but you know, nonetheless, it was a good shot regardless. Okay, it's at the start of the next game, we get the ball from kickoff, we play it down to Jungberg, unfortunately he doesn't score this, but we do get to the rebound with Rian Mahrez and we hammer it into the back of the net to take a quick lead at 1-0. And getting another chance here with Timo Werner playing it to Jungberg and unfortunately he doesn't finish, but that's not his fault, that's because of these incredibly ridiculously good goalkeepers in this game. Nonetheless, we get it back with Mahrez, play it back to Jungberg, he hits the shot across the keeper and tries to go for the near post this time, unfortunately couldn't score. Again with Jungberg, he sends in another finesse shot, he crashes off the post and you can see already his finesse shots are pretty good. I'm just going to show you a few clips here of his corner taking because his corners are phenomenal. More often than not they do find his own player and we do actually score quite a few of them. So I'm just going to show you a few of those clips so you can get an idea of how good his corner taking is. So here we get another chance with him, we play it back to him, we hit in a finesse shot. This time he does score it straight past the keeper into the back of the net. Another corner here, Ramos gets up high, the keeper saves it unfortunately, and one more time, yet another corner from him. And this time we do hit the post, but again, another brilliant display of how good his corners are. Okay, I'm not going to show you guys any more corner clips because you do get the point, but his corners are phenomenal. Okay, another chance here, we play the ball over the top with Mares. he's through on goal, he gets past the defenders, he holds him off brilliantly, he shows fantastic speed and strength, and he does score into the back of the net. Here we get one more chance with him, on his weak foot he hits it across the keeper and unfortunately he misses that, I mean you would hope that he would score it but uh, it was a poor miss nonetheless. Okay, here's a nice little counter attack, we throw the ball to Joe Gomez, he plays it through to Walker, Walker takes a few touches of the ball, he sees space opening up in the middle, we play it over the top, Jungberg gets in the end of it and another great finish from him into the back of the net and puts us up 3-0. One more time here, we go through with him, we, we have the option to get his hat-trick but we choose not to, we want a guaranteed goal, he plays it across to Werner and he taps it in, 4-0, rage quit. Uh, getting into the next game, we see here, we, we see space opening, so we hit a long shot with Jungberg and he ferociously crashes out of the crossbar, was a brilliant, brilliant shot. Here you can see he gets the ball but the defender touches him and he goes down, I mean, that's slightly worrying because he, he went down pretty easily there when he was through on goal. Um, but nonetheless, he, he goes ahead and makes up for a chair, takes one touch, calls the keeper in and chips it over him to put us into the lead. Another chance here with him, he hits in a good finesse shot, keeper parries it and Mahrez scores the rebound. 
So here again we can have another counter attack. We tackle him. Uh, after a few bounces in the box, we send uh, the ball to Werner. Werner takes a few touches and sends Jungberg through on goal with a brilliant pass. Jungberg takes one, two touches and bangs it into the bottom corner. A brilliant finish. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the gameplay. Now I'm just going to give you guys my thoughts on him and, you know, what I feel about this card. So, um, I'm going to say, all in all, I think he is a phenomenal card. Let me just start there. He's quick. His shooting is good, his dribbling is good, you know, his agility and balance, although not the highest, is pretty good So, And he does manage to evade defenders, run away from them, hold them off, and you know, all those parts of his game are phenomenal. Unfortunately, the issues that I found with him is his volleys are not the greatest, they are 70, he tends to miss them quite a lot. And for some reason, sometimes on his weak foot, he tends to miss the goals, as you saw from that one-on-one -on -one that he did miss. That was an easy chance that he should have scored, but he did miss it. And I, I find that on his weak foot, he does that quite often. So, all in all, it's a phenomenal card. The two issues that I did find with him is his volleys and his weak foot. But do I think this card is worth it? 100%, I gave him the stamp of approval. If you want him in your team, do not hesitate. Go out and buy him. You will not regret it. He is definitely, definitely worth every single penny. Okay, so anyway guys, that pretty much brings us to the end of this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button, leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet done so already. And until next time guys, peace.